What's up everybody? It's your boy Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that has gone a retro this coming week but it originally came out in 2021 20, I believe. And we're also going to take a look at a couple of pickups I did hit on the sneakers app. But before we get into that I need a couple of things from you. I need you guys to hit that like button on today's video. Do hit that thumbs up button on today's video. It helps the video go a long way. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneakers we're about to look at today. Sub up to the channel if you haven't already. And do hit that notification bell if, so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Now, I did mention that I was going to show you guys a couple sneakers that I did. Took the dub on the sneakers app. The first sneaker we're gonna look at is uh, it's a retro sneaker that came out in 2020. You do see the uh, white Nike Air brand on top of the orange box. And just gonna uh, show you guys that box tag. It did restock on sneakers. Uh, Let's see, no lot stamp in the box. I do have this sneaker already and a video up on the channel. When I first, I believe I have a video up on the channel. I know when I received the sneaker, I was very upset at Nike because my box was damaged. And I really didn't like the sneaker, but I learned to love it and I've worn it a few times. Talking about the Nike Dunk Little St. John. And it does come with this nice, soft, good leather, just like in 2020. So I put my name in the hat and I, I hit. So got me a double up in these. They are restocking another pair that released in 2020 that I want so bad. The uh, original Brazil dunks. So let me know what y'all think about those St. John dunks. And this also retro of a sneaker that recently released about three weeks or a month ago. I did get that dub on the sneakers app when they uh, released like three weeks ago or a month ago. I didn't even try it for it because I already had a pair of these since like March or April. I had an early pair, black trash bag paper. You already know I'm talking about the Air John Retro 8 playoffs with the red pull tab. So our first time getting the red pull tab since these retro when Jordan was playing. I know eights aren't that popular. Uh, I don't know, I like them when I decide to get me a double up in these. You never know with the uh, OGs what I could uh, Get in the trade for these. I might try to trade these. Probably will try to trade these because I don't need two pair of these to get something that I really want in the collection that I'm missing. And we're going to take a look at this sneaker. You saw the title, you see the box, purple label, Nike SB branding on top of the box. Give you a look at that box tag. Camera will focus and I'm gonna read it to you. See, it's Nike SB Don't Glow Pro, and the color is Flex, 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 and Baroque Brown. This is a size 14. This is a personal pair. Believe these will retail at $120. I think. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to double check that as I show you that last stamp along here with the fold over box top in that blue uh stamp. You do have that tree bark type pattern in green on one side of the paper, which is considered the smooth side, and the other side is rough. What else we have in here? We have a sticker. If I can grip it without damaging it, because your boy does not have long nails. You see that Nike SB white sticker right there. There you go. And we're gonna look down. You see that white and green YCM sticker? We got that in the box. There's everything that's left in the box. I don't know. Let's just get into the review. Yes, guys, we have the Nike Dunk Low Pro, the Wheat Mocha. 
Uh, let me know your thoughts of this. This sneaker did come out, like I said, around 2020, I believe, and Nike decided to retro this. I was in a skate shop this past weekend, and I was speaking with one of the employees there, and I mentioned to him uh, that Nike is going to retro all the dunks, huh? And that employee responds with, yeah, it's actually aggravating. So these Nike dunks that we thought were sacred and were highly valued, Nike is tapping into that value and they restocking them. I guess for the people that don't have pairs of these to get these, but this is basically a nice simple sneaker. Uh, it's all over that wheat mocha colorway. It got some decent grain of suede on here kind of thick right there you got your baroque brown on your uh midsole and you got that grippy gum bottom at the very bottom which lead to the outsole you got there you go baroque brown right there sb you got baroque brown nike and brought it on your heel badge you know pretty much all over uh wheat mocha is what they call it in this colorway Closer look at the suede. You got your wheat mocha oval laces. You do have a fat tongue with the woven patch. Says Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Uh, you do have additional laces. I was hoping these came with additional laces. And we do have the Baroque Brown. I like to call it chocolate brown oval laces. Uh, you do have sock liner is in that wheat mocha colorway and you see that grip right there you normally get these with the sbs because it helps the guy achilles out when you are skateboarding uh let's see if i can get a look at that size of tag us size 14 and the production date is march the 29th through may the 24th uh, there y'all go. Yep, yep. And we're gonna reach inside. Got the white tissue in here. Does the insert come out? Yeah. The insert does come out. There you go. Got that Zoom Air technology. Nike SB in the Mocha uh, Brown colorway or Baroque Brown colorway. And here we go. This is underneath. Uh, like I said, these sneakers retro in early November, which is this week. I believe November the 3rd. These will retro on your Nike sneakers app and in other uh, skate shops. So stay tuned in to your skate shops. Uh, if you're trying to get these, especially for retail. And uh, of course, if you gonna get these sneakers you gotta keep them clean and protected well protected that is with the rejuvenated water and stain repellent you're gonna spray it on the sneaker stay about three inches spray evenly and lightly across the sneaker and you're gonna let it dry for like 30 minutes or so before you step out looking crispy and clean guys so if you want to get some of this Rejuvenated water and stain repellent. There's a link in the description box. Make sure you check that out. We're gonna end this early look at this retro of the Air Jordan. I'm sorry, the Nike Don't Glow SB Pro, the Wheat Mocha. And we're gonna end this video like I always tell you guys. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. But it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.